Hello, and welcome to another exciting calculus lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. In this lecture, we're going to be covering the basic trigonometric derivatives, sines, cosines, tangent, cotangents, cosecants, and secants. But to start off with, let's start off with the derivative of sine of x and cosine of x. Now, I can't show you any theory on this in this lecture. Not that you guys ever want to see that anyways, because it's a pain. Unfortunately, knowing the trig derivatives is just memorization. It's just like you have to memorize the power rule and everything else. you got to memorize these. Sorry, but we are teaching math. So, uh, The derivative of sine of x equals cosine of x. That's it. Somebody asks you what's the derivative of sine of x, you say cosine of x. They ask you why. You say, I don't know. Just is. It's the reason. And derivative of cosine of x equals negative sine of x. This actually forms an interesting pattern that we're going to go into here. Next, we'll find the derivative of negative sine of x. Just keep going with this. Well, if you pull the negative to the outside, then you have the derivative of sine of x again, which is cosine of x. Multiply the negative back in, you get negative cosine of x. Take the derivative of negative cosine of x, you get negative times negative sine of x, which, of course, just equals positive sine of x. So the sines and cosines are really nice because they go full circles. You take four derivatives of sine, and you get sine back. You take four derivatives of cosine, you get cosine back. Now I have those two written down again here, just so you guys have a nice table to work with. Derivative of the sine is cosine of x, and derivative of cosine of x equals sine of x. Negative sine of x, sorry. And now I'll fill in the rest of the table for you. The derivative of tangent of x Sorry, I want to keep the same color here. Derivative of tangent of x equals secant That didn't happen. Secant squared of x Got a little ahead of myself there. Derivative of secant of x equals secant I'm not going to make that mistake again. Secant of x times tangent of x. The derivative of cosecant of x equals cosecant x times cotangent of x. And the derivative of cotangent of x equals negative cosecant squared of x. So there isn't much I can tell you on this. Uh, you just have to memorize this table. In any good calculus course, you can do a lot of these trig derivatives. Make yourself flashcards, do what you got to do. But this is the derivative of your basic trigonometric functions. Now, what you might be wondering, in your uh, algebra classes, all the time you're probably dealing with sine of theta over two, or two theta, your half angle functions. How do you take the derivative of those, you ask? Well, I'm not going to cover that in this lecture because you need something called the chain rule for that. But for those of you who are interested, I'll just tell you that it is one half cosine of theta over two. In the chain rule lectures, we'll do a bunch of these, so you'll get to see them for sine of x, secant of x, the whole nine yards. And uh, just as a forward note, keep your eye out for this one in our quotient rule lecture. Have a nice day.